So we found out in the last tutorial that our sprites are dipping just out of the scene at the bottom. And the distance they're dipping out is approximate, well, it is the distant, the height of the status bar up here at the top. The status bar is where you can see your time and your battery information. And this is what's happened. We've used this calculation here to get the widths and the heights. And we called that the canvas width and height. And the first thing you need to do is set everything in the sprite arrow object that used to be called canvas width, replace it with maximum screen width and canvas height as maximum screen height. It's because the commands we used to get the height pixels and the width pixels are the absolute width of the display in pixels and the absolute height of the density in pixels. And that value was found in the display metrics, height pixels, width pixels. Here it is again down here, width pixels, height pixels. And I've set everything to use the proper name. So if you run that again, you'll have the same app with the same mistakes. So how do we fix this? All of the screen variables and a few more are kept in a dimensions XML file. Your project has one under the resources. So under your Droid 101 app, if you go down into your resource folder values and dimensions, you've only got, uh, well, we've only got one, one entry, but you want the overall resource uh, dimensions for Android. So if you go into Android packages, yep, packages, you'll see uh, a libraries directory. And if you expand that, scroll down to values, expand that directory. And in here, you'll have a dimensions XML file. It's got a list of really useful uh, values. And you can have a look at this in your own time. But here's the one that we're interested in, the height of the status bar. And it has a name status bar height. So keep that in mind as we make the following edits. If you go back into your object, right at the top where we're defining variables, just after our maximum screen width and maximum screen height, put in a couple of more integers, name the first one status bar ID and the status bar height. The ID will reference the ID of the value and the status value will reference this value. And to get these values, We'll put the code under, where am I? So we first need to get the ID value, which is this line. So we're taking our context, getting the resources, looking for the identifier with status bar height. And the identifier is the text in your XML file next to the value you need. So I just cut and paste it straight from here. File name, package name. And once you've got this status bar ID, you can use that to get the size in pixels. So we're going to assign to our status bar height, context.getResources.get dimensional pixel size, status bar ID. So now we have a status bar height. Let's just copy that. And to correct, to correct our sprite motion, we need to go down to the equations that define the motion. And wherever we see maximum screen height, we need to subtract this value. So let's start here at the uh, border movements, maximum screen height, minus the frame destination height. Well, let's uh, take away the status bar height from that value. Screen height, here's another one. Another one down here. And I think that should fix it. Let's hit save and run. It should bounce off at the proper point. Yep, it's worked. And that's how we fixed the issue. We found out how to get the maximum screen height maximum screen width, and also how to subtract uh, the, the status bar height. That's it for uh, Sprite Sheets. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.